So why are so many couples having a cuckold fantasy? In the 19th century, women who wanted sexual satisfaction were considered fallen women and needed to be saved. It was assumed that men required sex in order to achieve a happy life, but a modest woman should not desire sexual gratification for herself. She was taught to only submit sexually to her husband, but only to please him. My, how times have changed. Today, wives in marriages to men who suffer from tiny dicks, premature ejaculation, erectile dysfunction, and a general lack of sexual prowess are not standing for it. So while once upon a time, a cuckold fantasy was simply a fairy tale, today it's a reality for millions of couples around the world. Today, couples are making their cuckolding fantasy come true. That's why cuckolding shows no signs of slowing down and its popularity keeps on growing. So a cuckold fantasy is becoming more popular by the second because women are demanding to be sexually satisfied. Now women need to be sexually satisfied to be happy. It's a big part of the female biology. A sexually satisfied woman is a happy woman. But what if a wife loves her husband and he has a three inch penis and he simply can't sexually satisfy her? Trust me, Husbands are very aware of their sexual inadequacies, and that's why many start watching cuckolding videos online and soon start fantasizing about their wife being satisfied by a well-endowed man. This is especially true for couples in female-led marriages. Since the female is dominant and she makes the rules and the man is submissive, obedient, and lives to make his wife happy, cuckolding becomes a real solution. Now, why should a queen suffer because her husband's inability to satisfy her? Today, thanks to social media movies and couples reading books like my cuckolding book, they soon start a discussion. Then they agree to try it and voila, their sexual problems go away. Today, hundreds of thousands of couples a month are starting, discussing, cuckolding and they decide it's a real opportunity to solve their sexual dilemmas. So women who engage in cuckolding often become more enthusiastic and desire more encounters. So it's extremely important to discuss and understand all aspects of cuckolding before you actually start. But for many couples, it is a perfect solution to keep a marriage together when there are real male sexual inadequacy problems. I get letters from so many women who have now placed their husbands in chastity and limited them to performing oral sex while they go out and get sexually satisfied by a well-endowed bull. Now, husbands like it as well because in cuckolding, they can be involved in helping their queen achieve her sexual satisfaction. For example, he can drive her to the hotel where she meets her bull. He can reclaim her afterwards by performing oral sex, clean up, Everyone is happy. The queen is happy because she gets a man with real sexual prowess to satisfy her. The husband is happy because he gets to be involved in his queen's sexual satisfaction, avoid getting divorced, and continue to maintain his primary relationship in his female-led marriage. Get my book, Cuckolding, and learn about all the ways it can transform your sex life, relationship, or marriage.